Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with the NK. Stay frosty. BK bets on bacon as its first true upgrade to their fan favorite cheesy tots. So let's go in and see what they're working with as we check out a five piece sample of a normal eight piece order. And as you can see guys, nice and crispy. For the two of you who don't know what cheesy tots are, they're essentially fried up pieces of potato with a nice breaded outer coating. And as you can see, nice and golden, nice and brown. And they're filled with cheddar and mozzarella. So they definitely are a fan favorite just because it's cheese, it's fried potatoes. How bad could that really be, right? Take a look as we swing on over. I have one split for you. We've got hickory bacon on the inside now. So it's got little bacon bits in there to really add some smokiness and some additional flavor. Really, really digging how this smells, guys. You can really smell that bacon as well as the cheese. And that's really adding to the overall experience already without even tasting it yet. For dipping, this is gonna be coming with a side of ranch and that really is the perfect choice in my opinion. Definitely my go-to here at BK definitely is gonna be a very nice situation, I think. But guys, looking really, really tasty here. Let's see if the flavor delivers overall. These are the all new bacon cheesy tots here at BK. Let's peep out this flavor. Yes, sir, nice and crispy looking with that perfectly fried aroma. Let's dive in. It's the fan favorite cheesy tots kicked up with a little bit of bacon here at BK. Mmm, just a faint hint of bacon in that one, but plenty of that cheddar and mozzarella cheese along with the creamy potato, guys, and a nice bit of saltiness to go with. Pretty good. As you already know, these are literally one to two biters. So have a look at this half from the initial close-up. And as you can see right there, guys, we've got a decent amount of bacon in that one. And I have to admit, the cheesiness is absolutely on point. You really can't go wrong with these here at BK. And it's an obvious favorite for a reason. And hey, you know what? I really like how the bacon is pretty subtle on this. And I guess considering there's only maybe one or two pieces in each of these, you can easily see why. It's really more of the potato and the cheese, and that's what's taking center stage. But the fact that you're getting a little bit of bacon in there, just a little bit, is adding just the right amount of saltiness on top of the overall flavor. It's pretty tasty. But of course, as good as they are on their own, you absolutely know we have to go for a dip in that ranch sauce, right? Let's hit this up right now. You already know what it is. It's ranch, it's a cheesy tot, it's got a little bit of bacon in it. How bad could this really be? Here we go. Let me see if I can try and get another decent cross-section shot of this one. Well, as I'm finishing up that last bite and looking at what I've got left over here, I've got a decent cross-section shot I'm gonna show you, but unfortunately, there's no other bacon to speak of just yet. I have a feeling your mileage may vary with the amount of bacon that you're gonna get on the inside of these, maybe one or two bits, if that, but it is just barely noticeable enough to let you know that it's a slight upgrade compared to what you're already used to from the cheesy tot, and as always, the ranch goes amazingly well with it. And actually, you know what? Let me go for one more bite to see if maybe there's something on the back end here. Nope. No bacon in this one, but it's good. Okay, so let's do a quick experiment here and crack one of these open and see if there is any bacon on the inside. And just looking at it there, maybe on the inside of the coating, that is pretty much it. But as I'm looking at this further here, you can probably see inside there just a little bit, maybe one or two bits, if that, guys. I think that's all you're gonna get with each of these, if you get it at all. I think it's kind of mixed throughout, depending upon the batch that they make. but. Very nicely done, the crispiness is on point, the cheesiness is on point. I just wish there was just a little bit more bacon on the inside to really stand out, just a little bit more. You know, this is really a tough one for me right now because I really do enjoy cheesy tots as most of you guys do as well, but unfortunately the bacon on the inside of these is a little on the light side, a little too light if you ask me. And while the hint of the flavor is mostly there, I do wish it was visible just a little bit on the inside because guys, you really wanna have just a little bit more bacon, especially when you have that much potato and cheese. I think it would be a nice balance if it was more even. But hey, I get that it's a slight upgrade to an existing flavor that many people already enjoy to begin with on its own, but guys, come on, it's bacon. You can never go wrong with more bacon, right? This definitely needs just a little bit more of it. So with that said, I'm gonna have to give the bacon cheesy tots here at BK just an okay 7.8 out of 10. A couple of points higher could have been there had there been just a little bit more bacon on the inside. Because honestly, guys, what was there did taste pretty good when I got it, but on its own, their cheesy tots, their cheese, their potato, a little bit of bacon doesn't hurt, but then again, more of it is always gonna be better. Just saying. All right, now for all you cheesy tots heads out there, how excited are you to give this version of your favorite BK item a shot? And if you could change something on this in addition to having a little bit more bacon, what do you think you would do to them? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another episode of Peep This Out, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So while you stay tuned for the next review coming real soon, in the meantime, stay frosty. Upgraded flavor or not, BK, these absolutely need to be on the menu permanently. And I think most of you guys would probably agree, right? All right, everyone, until next time, I'll talk to you soon.